Once Pear Deck has been installed, you can create a new Pear Deck by opening your Google Drive, clicking the Create menu, and clicking on the Pear icon that will now appear. This will launch the Pear Deck editor. At the same time, a Pear Deck file has been created in your drive, just like when you create any Google document. If you rename your Pear Deck file, its new name is immediately reflected in your Google Drive. You can share, organize, and delete this file just like any other Google file. Now you're ready to create your slides and formative assessments. Let's walk through the basic features of each slide type. First, an explain something slide. This is a normal static slide. You can enter a title and choose a type of content to add. If you want to change the content type, click the X at the top of the content area and choose a different content block. Second, a draggable slide. These slides allow you to ask students a question and let students answer by dragging a dot or a line on the selected image. This is a great way to ask questions to solicit opinions, spur debate, or get students considering a problem right at the beginning of class. For example, you can ask your students when they think a raisin in the sun took place and drop in a timeline image. You could ask students where they think the ball will land in this picture or where they think volcanoes form. With a draggable question, you can get every single student considering the question at hand, whether or not they are bold enough to raise their hand and share their thoughts out loud. If you display the answers up on the projector, you can identify patterns, debate different possibilities, and discuss the best routes to finding an answer. Third, a multiple choice slide. These slides let you ask quick multiple choice questions. Type your question in the title bar of the slide, then enter the possible answers. You can also add other content blocks, just like in a normal slide. Once you have all of your slides made, you can start presenting. This will make the presentation live so that students can join from their own devices. We'll cover presenting in the next video.